This section of rock in Holstein, in Moravský kras, I consider to be the best piece of limestone that we have in the country. Come on. When I was 14 years old, I made the first ascent of route, which is Perla Východu, Perl of the East, and that is the first 9A in the country. And it was my second 9A ever. It climbs straight up, halfway up the wall, and then goes to the left and finishes in the neighboring 8A plus amazing crag, first ascended back in 1987. But going straight up was a big mystery. After quite a bit of time, I made a first ascent back in 2011 of Perlorotka, an amazing line. And then as this Really strange, super hard, reachy, and unique bold brown is an AB plus. And AB plus in the middle of the route, that's that's pretty rare. More to the right of Perlorotka, there is another 9A called Kostie. Unfortunately, Kostěj Nesmrtelný, the bone man, has almost a no hand rest and you can avoid that by climbing more to the right and doing the crux of a neighboring 8B+, which is called Kudlanka. And this ultimate link up, which basically means that you climb a 9A+, into a good rest, linking into the crux of Perlorotka, yeah, maybe this could be a good challenge. First 25 moves are 9A plus by itself, straight into the crux of 8B plus. There's no especially hard move, an individual move, but it's power endurance where it's pretty hard to clip, it's pretty hard to choke up, and it's really hard to climb this section without getting too tired. The bottom is like more physical and fingery at the same time doing big moves on like pretty tiny crimpy holds. Whereas the crux of 8B+, plus, it's less steep, it's pretty technical. With the final move, like the dead point into the undercling, where you can never really be sure whether you are gonna slip off or not. And there's a good rest in the undercling, sketchy traverse to the left, and the good rest either in a split position and knee bar. And then there's the crux, an AB+, plus bold problem by itself. I'm pretty confident about that. There's like five moves intro, which could be already 8A bowler by itself, into one really hard distinct move using the side pull and going into the shoulder. I'd say that's pretty hard individual move, maybe 8A bowler problem move. And still this really special free move bump onto the lip of the of the overhang. And to climb over the lip, it's maybe three more moves, which is, I would say maybe only seven A bolt problem, but it's not over. Whew. Trying of this route is actually Really strange process. Like today I would I came, I thought I would have a really good chance of sending. 
Instead, like, I split this open, I couldn't really fully crimp. There are some tiny holes that I have to fully crimp. And on the top of that, like, already, like, on my working try, just trying to crack smooth from the side pull intermediate and go here, I was just somehow, I don't know, sliding of this part of the skin that is maybe a little bit bruised. And you cannot like crimp it, you have to kind of like open hand it. And when the skin is like peeling off a little bit, there's like, like nothing I could do. I felt so good, so strong. Still no chance today. The season is kind of getting short and hmm, I don't know if I can send it this spring. Back on the project, last time I was here was late April, today it's relatively cold and because it requires really good friction I haven't tried it during the summer because it makes absolutely no sense. Now it's early November, maybe this part is like okay to try so I think this day will be just to repeat the moves but I don't think the conditions are good enough to even like give it any serious tries. And I think I need to like get it back, get it back into the muscle memory and and see how it feels. So the crux revolves mostly around this side pull, a little bit of like an underclink, and this really strange foothold, which looks like it's good, then non-existent intermediate, and then going into this left hand gas stone. That for sure is by far the hardest move of the whole route. In April, like I almost stuck this and then it got a little bit warmer, I was out of shape and then yeah, then it was season over. So let's see how this move feels today. Yeah, Paul. Okay, the So, all the moves are repeated. There's this still mental over the lip of the overhang, but that one is really humid today. And I know that there are no conditions to give it proper try, so I have, let's call it a trick. I will try this upper crux in interval bouldering. So my goal would be, would be very cool to do the whole sequence maybe one minute rest and do it again and maybe one minute rest and do it again. I think doing it three times like this would give me a massive confidence boost. So this is a trick how to like get into certain moves like more and more tired and you kind of simulate the, the similar fatigue which you will feel if you come from the ground. Pichu podmínka. No, to nemá smysl líst intervaly. To je škůvé kůži. I mean, the ring finger is really close to splitting. It's bad conditions. The spike is really taking the skin out. I felt like I was really sliding a lot of every single move. Uh, basically it means that I cannot try any day anymore. If I split this open, maybe it's game over for one week on this move. Because it would take a really long time to heal. So I guess I go back into the training and let's see next time if the conditions will be better. Yes, yes, yes. 
přijel tak vyladěnej. Běhá. Vyhoněnej. Bude tak špatný, jsem fakt nečekal. Jsou tady ráno mlhy, pod nulou, inovatka, no a co to vysráží na té skále. Skála ledová, vzduch se ozhřeje a vysráží se to na tom nejstudenějším místě a to jsou prostě ty chyty. Ten indikátor, <laughs> je fakt, že v pátek byl úplně bílý. Jako jako Jakože za dvě hodiny to bude mírně lepší, ale dobrý to nebude, aby vůbec dalo, dávalo smysl dávat pokus. No. So after quite a few terrible days when I was just driving here only to find out it's completely unclimbable, the rock was just way too condensated. I would say like, yeah, today it's climbable. And even on my warm up try uh, from the rappel, I found a tiny detail which could make the final world run a bit easier. Well, I still have to do the hard move into the shoulder move and still have to do the bump. But then, instead of making the switch of the feet, I can use one more foothold and and actually one more foothold. I was really hoping that once I stick this shoulder move, I will never fall off. But yeah, here, I, here we go. I fell off. The crux move felt like, phew, wow, I just made it so precise. I'll definitely make one more try today. I would never think I would fall off this super easy move. <sighs> but actually only because I changed the beta today, I didn't fall in like the last hard move. Somehow I made it through the last hard move and I fell in the, the real last move, but a move which is not even hard. <laughs> but I was just too tired. <laughs> I went just so much on the limit into the shoulder, into every single intermediate. A to byl takový boj to. No proto jsem měl vylé, když to prostě bylo úplně brutální, jak jsou dělali těžký krok. Já jsem se tam držel i zubama prostě v té polici málem. A... I think this is pretty ideal Moravian karst conditions. Zero degrees, overcast, 
it's not condensated, it's really dry and it's still, I think, acceptable temperature for giving one try. to trochu jako na nervy, ale... David B+. There was so much pressure today. And I knew I didn't want to fail. And like... Actually, you know... Almost all the hard routes which I have ever done in my life were like just climbing perfectly. Today I knew that there was a little bit of margin and... 
It was really hard to get into the flow, just keep going, keep going. I knew uh, like the bottom, which is 9A+, which I have super dialed, and I know that there is a margin. I was overgripping a little bit. All these like little thoughts, this is something like you can't really think about. And this was today, given like how perfect and how ready I felt, it was impossible. But then, fortunately, I could get into the shoulder move. I felt amazing. In the bump moves, I felt much better than, than on Thursday. But then, like, actually, the very, very top, it's impossible to avoid the flash pump. Because, like, you do a 9A+, plus, you get a bit tired, and then you get a big rest, but the very last moves are, I don't know, it's like the last three moves is maybe 7A boulder problem. But you can, like, easily drop it. Today I was, like, much stronger up there, but it's still... Absolutely on the limit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the second hardest climb of my life. Silence and then this one. It's a it's a nine B plus, but I think it's considerably harder than La Dura Dura or Vasil Vasil or or Change. Pretty happy. I did a 9B plus after nine years. <laughs>